Hello, welcome back to the channel. Weekend again. Big rock sacks are on. Out for a wild camp the night with Stephen. Coastal one, just in round Bonn, Toy Harbour direction. At the moment, it's a pretty busy trail, so we're going to follow it round. It's been maybe 10, 15, maybe 20 minute walk from the car. Find a pitch, pitch up for the evening, take in some sights and sounds. That's the waterproof on already. Wind's picked up. You can see the waves crashing in. Elephant rock, you call that. Just going for a wee bit of exploring. Up this mound. We're going to get wet, so may as well just grin and bear it. A bit cheeky enough wee spot here. Pretty exposed in eight, but we'll keep it in the memory bank. So ideally, over that direction there was where we were going to camp round the corner a wee bit but uh, silly us we forgot to look at the tide times and uh, it's just coming in now it's impossible at the moment and the rain clouds are coming in so I'm thinking we're off the trail here get a couple of tents in fact as you can probably see there's been a, a couple of fire pits and all already here so we'll wait it out here for an wee while just to see it is a busy sort of trail we'll see what it's like but I think that's going to be the pitch for the evening. So just going to do my usual walk around before pitching up. Just talking through the the options here, sort of. I've got this one here, maybe just I've got the Robins Pioneer 2EX out tonight, so it's a big enough tunnel tent. I'm thinking maybe the main compartment here, the vestibule out this way, and this, this mound here will hopefully take the wind from it. Or else we've got over here, it's a wee bit more sheltered, but then it's it's got the two fire pits which I'm not a fan of, but it's, it's scorched ground, yes, but they have cleaned up after themselves, which I'm not too sure what way to look at that there, but, so that's the ideas for the night. Stephen's going to pitch away over there. It's time to get down to business tonight. There it is, I said earlier on. We'll tent them in, the Robins pan here. It's going to be a cracking night, I think. A bit of rain cloud coming over, so I'll have to work quick, but it'll not be the first time that we've done it in the rain, so. I don't know what we're doing. Oh yes, tent nicely pitched. Uh, I've got a wee view over the mound here. I'll bring my stuff in, get set up for the rest of the evening. Hopefully, first things first, get dinner on. I'm absolutely storming. So I am, no surprise. I'll show you around the, the tent in a couple of minutes.
There we go, set up in good time. About 20 minutes or so for that, to get everything in. Side, I've got my food, tea bags, cook system, sweets, snacks, all in the vestibule with my rucksack. In the main compartment is obviously my sleep system. I'm a down clothes and stuff like that there. If you've watched the channel, you know what it is. I'm not, I'm not boys with that overly talking about it too much. Just a couple of wee things here. Obviously, you've seen the walk around there. Let's see, sorry. Big massive rock. If you were to pitch over that there, lay on it, you'll rip your under the tent. Uh, I love the Robins, quality tent. The biggest qualm is, it's just the side panel here, and this side, it's just a wee bit too loose for my liking. I've tightened it all up. If anybody knows anything about them, give me a shout, obviously. Tell me how to rectify the mistakes. It's all tight in the inside and all pegged out correctly, but give me a shout. Dinner time, finally. Two pepper burgers, two baps, obviously. Uh, Graham's salted caramel yogurt for dessert. Stephen's on steak and... There's rice and a, maybe a sweet and sour and sweet Ooh. chili sauce. A sweet chili sauce and some rice, lovely. It's a sirloin steak. Really? It's a sirloin steak, unbelievable. Uh, had to stop in the shop and get some curry made butter. I forgot my oil on the way up. Stephen had a good wee chuckle about that and yeah. then realised he's forgot his steak knife for his <laughs> sirloin steak. So good one, Stephen. Happy days. Have a burger. Lovely. I have the other one on the go. Low and slow here. Stephen's still cooking a steak. I'll devour this. Like I said earlier on, starving as always. So, catches in a wee way. Stephen finally tucking into his steak. Not too sure anybody wanted to see that bit, but. What's your verdict? That's tasty. That was nice. Good stuff. Still got a wee bit of pink in the middle. That's nice. Major Major I'm going to tuck into my last burger now. And then just settle in for the evening. Stephen set up for the evening, Helm 2 compact, crack and tent, door open, same sort of setup as mine, nothing new or exciting in it I don't think, and when he wakes up in the morning, he will have the view of Elephant Rock. Some setup, some pitch, lovely evening, I've got the hood up. Still windy, as I'm pretty sure you can hear by the waves crashing in. I've got the drone with me. Took it out for a walk today again. Uh, I don't think I'll get it up. Well, if it calms down, I will. I'll throw it up, get a pictures, a few videos. What an absolute backdrop this is, the need. Rathlin Island, we've got the wee church in Ballantoy, out towards the Giant's Causeway, of course uh, the big elephant rock. Stephen's just down there, I'm not too sure if we can see him, having a beer. I'm going to have a dairy milk. Sun's going to set in about an hour's time, if even. I don't think we're going to get much of a sunset, which is unfortunate, but we'll get on with it. Enjoy the rest of the evening.
finally getting the drone up at uh, some cracking shots right over the elephant rock. A couple of other rocks out in the sea. And then the waves just lapping in. Absolute cracking night so far. I think I've said that about 10 times, but it is. That noise of the waves, it's gonna be brilliant tonight. That's what it is. Good night's sleep will be had. The rain's on, time to retire to the, the vestibule and the robins. Uh, it's the first hot drink of the evening. It's a lamb sip. I've had a head, bit of a head cold the past couple of days. No big surprise. It's probably a bottle to get out of bed this morning. But I'm glad I did. Sometimes you just need a wee shake up. Get out of bed, get things done. Uh, Stephen's going to get some chocolate. Well, it's just sort of relax here. And, chill out and listen to the, the waves crash in. I haven't done much around the tent tonight, I'll just sort of try to give a bit of a picture of the, the, the site. <laughs> well, hopefully it's done it justice. So, speak to you soon. That's the end of the night there, 20 past 10. Just had a quick wee walk around. Stephen got a few night shots of the tents and stuff. He's not too impressed with them, but if they are decent, he will send them over, he says. I'll put them over the top of this, but... So, 20 past 10, I'll check out in the morning. Morning, 10 to 6. I haven't really looked outside yet. Sunrise is in, in not 14 minutes, so it is. But I'll do my usual sleep thing. So, 6 hours, 57 minutes, total sleep. One hour, six minutes, deep sleep. Four hours, 46, late. One hour, 54, REM, and seven minutes awake. I'll be brutally honest with you. I don't feel like I've slept seven hours because it, the tent's been rustling all night. It's been strong enough sort of winds. I thought the sea would have kept me up crashing in, but it wasn't even, it was just the wind. But it says that I've got seven hours there, so pretty good. Let's go see if there's any sun, sun rays. No microphone on this morning. <laughs> I must have left it over last night and the battery's dead on it, so I'm using the GoPro hanging. I'm not even too sure if I've picked up here. No sunrise really. It's clearing up a bit, but I don't think we're going to get anything. Just to touch the tent, you can see the two side compartments of the main compartment. I've been rustling all night and that's what's kept me up. I just need to try to get that a wee bit tauter. I have absolutely no complaints about the robins in. Cup of tea, and then probably break down camp. Nice couple of morning tea. Flapjacks out of home bargains for breakfast. Can't beat it. A Louis axe mug because my little travel mug had lamps up in it last night. Good morning.
What an absolute fantastic setting this morning. It is blowing a gale, but it looks absolutely magnificent out there. I've got my shorts, towel. I might go for a wee dip, I'm not too sure. Fantastic bit of sunrise there as well. Hitting off the big elephant rock there. Probably just stand about for another wee while. Relax. And then do the inevitable. So the time has come. To take the robins down. We're talking last night, me and Stephen, about the camp and all. This is overtaken last year's number of camps. So it's only August. Hoping to aim to get enough five or six out this season. This is the main reason that we got this tent, why I got this tent. Low long camps. Heavy enough to carry, but you've still got your space. Great tent. Uh, I say I'll just break down camp. Uh, we'll leave no trace. As you can see, the rubbish in the bags and uh, just flat grass. So we'll just leave this video here. And I always say, we'll see you out next week, hopefully. Have a good weekend. See you soon.